during the live Sunday service of Jesus on the Throne International Ministry as the service was ongoing the power of God moved supernaturally in the midst of the congregation here is Madam Joyce who had a divine encounter with the Holy Spirit let us listen to what the Holy Spirit spoke through her glorify him glorify him glorify him glorify him exalt him exalt him exalt him exalt him exalt him exalt him listen 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 to him Things like this. Listen to him. Listen to him. I call him. I call him. Why you people are not listening? Why are you not listening to him? I call Daniel. 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 Carvo, the one standing in front of you people. I call him. Why are you not listening? Listen to him. I appointed this lady to tell you the truth. Even since she refuses, she's revealed. I take hold of her heart. Yes, I send Daniel to you people so that you will not perish. So that you not perish. Why are you not listening? You people, your ear. If you don't take it, you go to hell. If you don't take it, you go to hell. Listen to Daniel Carvo. Listen, listen. I pointed this lady. She's not the one talking. She is not the one talking. I'm your God. I'm your God. Worship me. I will be saved. Worship me. I will be saved. If you resist, there is a hell. Where is it for you? Where is it for you? Where is it for you? I'm your God. I'm your God. I'm your God, Jehovah Nisi. I am. No, I come before you so true and so. No. For me, yes, I'm true, my son. I'm telling you for the last time. Listen to that your careful. I send him. I send him. I send him. He's my own. He's my home. Listen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Well, that is to tell you that I don't have control over myself. The question is, why is it when I'm coming? Why is it when I step here? People of God celebrate Jesus. Our sister is in our midst to share our wonderful testimony. With us. Good morning, man. You're welcome to Jesus on the Train International Ministry. Can you please tell us your name and where you are coming from? Good morning, church. Jesus on the throne. That is our hope. My name is Mrs. Rejoice Achiano. I'm coming from Air Vision, Flatland. 
my testimony goes like this. So there's this faithful Sunday. My husband wasn't around. He traveled. I was in the house with the children. I decided not to come to church. Uh, so I woke up and I prepared breakfast. After that, we, I went and slept back. I'm about to fall asleep. Something just tapped me. Will you get up and go to church? As if something carried me from the bed to the bathroom. Then I bathed and I came with my children. When we came, it's late. Uh, they were, the worship was going on. I came, I was there. I was not even paying attention. It's like uh, nothing concerns me anymore. So as I was there singing, I was just, my eyes was going, going around. I didn't even close my eyes. So what I saw at that gate was a senior prophet T.B. Joshua holding apostle's hand. <laughs> holding apostle's hand. And I said, uh -uh, what am I seeing? Then all of a sudden, another man appeared. And I, I believe it's Jesus. He was not wearing slippers. He was wearing this gown. Pure white. It's not this white we wear over here. The, the dress was shiny, shiny. So they went, they walked there, they go to the altar. Then they came, they were standing there. I was watching, it's like I know Prophet TV Joshua. I've been watching him on telly. And I know Apostle already. So my focus is on Jesus. Ma. Yeah. I was watching. I know Apostle, I know Prophet TV Joshua. So my focus it's on the person wearing the white. And I was trying to look at his face. Then they get down, they come and pass here. They went through all over the church. And they were moving around the auditorium. Yes. That, that I'm still watching. Then for them to go back to the altar, they came and passed where? They, they passed this place. They passed my front before they passed here and went back and i was watching i was watching him i said when i reached his neck over the face what there's this light i cannot even look at it then all of a sudden he points his hand at me he said you speak tell them this and i said ah, why me why me i was asking this why me this plenty people why me me cry i cannot even speak well why me he said you i have chosen you you have to tell them that they have to listen so he was mentioning apostle's name direct he's not even adding apostle so i said no 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 i cannot even the sister beside me that day if she can listen her i was doing my hell i said no 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 i can't i can't say that i can't say that he said speak i said speak tell them what i'm telling you the voice was so strong so when apostle came in the dress that apostle wore that uh, tv joshua was holding his hand the same dress apostle was wearing that sunday the same dress the same dress i said so when apostle enter I was watching, I said, how can one person will be at the same place? He's over there at the altar, the same thing. And I said, ah. then I mentioned my name. I said, ah, Joyce, are you going crazy? I was watching. Then when Apostle enter, he's about to kneel down over there. There's this smoke cover him and Prophet TV Joshua. And my focus on, is on Jesus. Then Jesus said, will you speak? Then when Apostle said we should raise our hand. I was about raising my hand. Then Jesus just do like this. My chest. I feel that as if they use hammer. I feel bad. Then I can't breathe again. That is when I shouted and I came out. As I was here, I never know that I was on my knee saying anything. When I got up that day, I feel like paper. Me, that is, I feel heavy. It's like I, I can't stand on my feet. I was crying. I said, God, forgive me for doubting all this thing. Because, I, and I believe that God. Ma, please, you want to understand something. You mean the instruction I was giving to you while you were there that you insisted not to say. Yeah. When the man of God came in, it was the same 
dress that he was wearing, the same shirt, while he was with, uh, uh, with Prophet TV Joshua yeah. and Jesus, it was the same thing, the same dress he was wearing when he came in. Yes. So when he came in, he said we should raise our hands to worship. Uh, you you I, couldn't raise your hand. No, I was about to raise my uh -huh. hand. Then Jesus then just... Forced, Jesus stretched. forced you to come and say what yes. is... It, he stretched his hand like I, I see his hand towards me like this. Then once I see his hand towards me, I feel it in my chest as if somebody used hammer to hit my hand and I, my breath want to cease. That is when I shouted and I came up. As I came, I, he was speaking. He was telling me what to say and I was saying it, even that day when we closed, we were going home, my daughter asked for her whenever apostle pray for somebody and the person for he said apostle has beat the person. So when we are going we say, mama, ah, did apostle beat you? And I said, no. And I said, why? He said, you were shouting no. And I saw, so I was asking my son, what happened? My son said, ah, ma, you were mentioning apostle's name. You are not even adding apostle. I said, ah, me? He said, yes, so that I, when I reach home, my knee, I can see so. And I said, ah, ah. so that means I kneel down before saying all this thing. I never know. People of God, from that day to today, I've never been to hospital. No more abdominal pain. No more waist pain. This side ribs, my two ribs over here, no more pain. I'm free. I can do everything. Even doctors say I should not stress myself. I can do everything. People of God, I'm free. What about the pain my, you used to have in your oh, stomach? It's gone. No more pain. And what about the fibroid? Uh, my menses is coming up. By then, when I first, the, when I, all this thing was going on, if my menses can only once. So I was opportunity uh, one Thursday we were here and Apostle introduced the sticker. <laughs> God love me. Oh. I was the first person that he gave me that he gave the sticker. And he said I should place it in my tummy. As I place it, I fall down. When I fall down, I hear something boom in my stomach. So I thought Apostle would give me the sticker. And he collected back. He said he's just introducing it so i said ah i thought he would give it to me when i went home three days later my menses is coming like how he used to come first. ma we thank god for your life for this wonderful testimony and this experience you've had here at Jesus on the Trade International Ministry. So with all this put together, what is your promise to God? First of all, I, I want to thank man of God for allowing himself to be used by God to pray for people like me. I'm very grateful, man of God. God bless you. I pray that may God continue to strengthen you. May he continue to empower you so that you continue doing his good work. And my advice is that people of God, maybe your case is like my own den. Please don't stop coming. Keep on coming because God does as he will. So keep on coming. And don't let your doubt draw you away from God. Let your doubt draw you closer to God and he will see us through. Thank you, Jesus. 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 We thank God for this wonderful testimony. We want to encourage and advise you that you should continue to make God's word a standard for your life so that this healing, this deliverance that you have received will remain permanent in your life in Jesus' name. I want to sing. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Elom Nyemenyanu Sita Oh, 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 oh,
Jesus died for me. He loves me and I don't know why. Elom, Yemenya Nusitao. Celebrate Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 